everyone, I'm Jesse from DarkstormReviews.com and welcome to my haul for January 14th, 2015. Uh, I got some new comics, some back issues, which I don't pick up very often, but I did this week. And uh, also a new pop, check it out, Howard the Duck, awesome, Andy the Bobblehead. Uh, I've been waiting for a while for this to come out, uh, ever since I saw him in Previews Magazine, whenever that was. Um, as you can see, he's very nicely detailed, all dressed up in his nice suit and hat. And uh, there's even some nice artwork on the back of the box there. Pretty cool. Awesome. Really glad to have that one. Um, and on to the new comics. Oops. I'll show you what that is in a moment. Uh, Star Wars came out today. Uh, I imagine a lot of people picked this up. I haven't watched anybody else's videos yet. Um, I will tonight though, starting tonight. Um, overall, I thought this was really well done. Uh, I, the artwork was good. All the characters' voices were very well written as well. Everybody feels like their characters, you know. And um, for stories that start right after episode four, which this does, right after the Death Star has been destroyed, uh, I thought it was pretty good. Didn't blow me out of the water. Um, but uh, I think I'll definitely pick up issue two. Uh, I did enjoy it. And uh, I, what I did not enjoy is the price, $4.99. Um, I thought it was going to be like a super long issue, and it's actually not really. The reason it's so thick, I think, is because of the two previews at the back. There's a preview for Star Wars um, Darth Vader episode, uh, episode, issue one, and Star Wars uh, Princess Leia issue one, both of which look pretty good. Uh, I'll probably check them out. Um, but yeah, $4.99 for this, that's disappointing, especially when I, I didn't count how many actual pages uh, is the, uh, the, the Star Wars book is. I mean, the total's 44. Uh, but that's including the previews in there, so um, I think it is still a, a double-sized issue, um, but it's not actually 44 pages of Star Wars. Uh, some of those pages are just previews. But still, it was good, and uh, as uh, many of you probably know, uh, it had a ridiculous uh, 100 different variants. That's stupid crazy. I don't know why they would do that. Who's going to buy 100 variants? Um, I picked up some. Uh, they were all cheap though. Uh, of course, I was able to get the Scotty Young. Very happy I was able to get that and I was able to get a second one as well. They were both uh, just cover price and uh, I will be saving one for my Scotty Young uh, prize pack for whatever future contest that happens to be or when I do it. I don't know yet. Um, so that's awesome. Oh, and this is um, one of three. This is the connecting cover. Uh, issue two and three. Um, I've seen them online and you can check them out as well. Um, on this side, uh, which is issue, I think it's issue two, uh, Princess Leia is on this side. And on this side is Darth Vader with some stormtroopers, which I think is uh, uh, issue three. So I hope I can get those as well, hopefully. And uh, I got these other variants. These were all really cheap. These are like seven bucks, 750. Um, this one, okay, excuse me, okay, these two I got at the Silver Snail for $7 each, I think they were both $7. This is the Luke Skywalker action figure variant, which I thought was pretty cool. And this is the Han Solo Princess Leia one, I also like this one too, this, I think they were both $7, so not too bad. And... These two I got, uh, the Scotty Young I got at Comic Book Shop, and these two as well I did. These were $7.50. This is the New York Toy Fair <coughs> uh, Limited one. So those are all made out of, this cover is made out of action figures, which is pretty cool. You got Darth Vader, the Emperor, Stormtroopers there. Pretty awesome. And this one made me laugh. <coughs> uh, this one right here with the... Uh, Jackson from the old uh, Star Wars comics. Hello, anybody? I hear you breathing. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. I like that one. Um, the variants uh, that I wish I had gotten but didn't even get a chance to see are the Alex Ross, uh, which I may still get. Uh, I saw it at an okay price on Midtown Comics. Uh, that whole site has a, a big sale on right now. Um, is that on? Yeah, that was on sale too. So I, I may get that one still because that wasn't outrageous and it's an amazing cover. 
And the other cover I'd really like to get, which is not on Midtown, I have to get it on eBay if I do decide to get it, is the Adi Grinov uh, Boba Fett one. If you have not seen that yet, look it up on, on, on online, do a Google image search for Star Wars 1 variant uh, Boba Fett by Adi Grinov. It is a beautiful cover. I would love to have that one. I may uh, go on eBay and pick that up because I, I don't think that was, was that, that one was not outrageous either. That was like 20 some bucks, like 22, 24, <clears throat> something like that. It's like not, not outrageous. Uh, so I may still get that one. Um, so moving on, uh, we got Spider-Verse issue two. Still behind on this. I still haven't gotten caught up on the whole Spider-Verse thing yet. Soon, hopefully. Um, Avengers issue 40, Thanos on the cover. Awesome. Love Thanos. And I also picked up issue 34.2 of Avengers. Don't know too much about that. I know that has to do with Star Band, or Star Brand, sorry. Band. Uh, Deadpool issue 40. This one looks pretty crazy. Uh, I know, I haven't read this yet, but I know Silver, Sarah Silverman is in this issue as a, as a protester. So that should be interesting. Um, Earth 2 World's End issue 15. Uh, the last two or three issues, uh, basically this particular arc has been kind of meh. Um, not as good as, uh, as it was uh, in earlier issues and when it started. Um, this issue, I think, think is the end of that arc. I mean, it, it, at least it feels like it's the end of the arc. If it's not, I can't imagine there being more than one more issue for it. Um, but it was, it was okay. Um, I would still recommend this series to people because, I mean, like like all of the weekly series that go up, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. It's out every week, so it's not always going to be amazing. Uh, but, I mean, this started off really well. I enjoyed it a lot. It's just this particular arc was just kind of, eh, it was, it's okay, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll pick up and get better again though because these weekly series tend to do that especially when they start off strong and they dip a little bit and then they go back up again and uh, speaking of which 252 futures end issue 37 um, not one of the better issues I would say I read this as well um, but it was alright um, I'm still enjoying this series and I'll definitely see it through to the end that's just I think that's just what happens with weekly series, right? They go up, they go down, they go up again. Um, Fire and Stone, Alien vs. Predator, 4 of 4. This is almost over. One more month, I think. And, oh, and uh, for the Scotty Young cover, <clears throat> uh, there are also three little posters. I have quite a few of these uh, Scotty Young poster thingies that I've been getting from uh, the comic book shop over the past while. I put them all in one little, uh, well, it's not so little anymore, actually. But I put, them all, I put them all in one bag and board together. Like there's the Death of Wolverine and, what is this one? Oh, that was Infinity. Oh, Inhuman, sorry, Inhuman. I have quite a few in here. So that's pretty cool. I'm always glad to get those. Yeah, that's getting quite full, actually. And back issues. Um, the comic book shop used to have sales on their back issues every weekend, and then they stopped for a while. Um, oh, wait a minute. I also got these for free. Uh, two Star Wars buttons. That's the cover. And then that's the cover for a Princess Leia issue one. That's cool. What was I saying? Oh, right. Uh, they used to have sales uh, on their back issues every week, and then they stopped for a long time. Sorry. <clears throat> um, and then they started up again uh, every weekend, 25% off. So I was like, all right. I looked through, uh, went through back issues, and I got some stuff. Um, all really cheap. Uh, I got Web of Spider-Man, issue two. They didn't have one. <clears throat> this was... I don't remember what it was with the discount, like two or three bucks, I guess, something like that. And Web of Spider-Man 11. And Web of Spider-Man 38. Um, Web of Spider-Man was my Spidey book when I started collecting comics when I was 14 in 1989. <clears throat> um, I wasn't really big on Amazing at the time. Um, I have some, some Amazing Spider-Mans I did buy back then. Uh, but Web of Spider-Man, that was my Spidey book. I loved it. Um, I bought 
all the current issues that were out for, for a few years. And uh, <clears throat> I would also occasionally buy back issues, uh, but I don't have the whole run. Um, so I think that's something I'm actually going to work on this year, especially with two conventions coming up. Uh, Ottawa Geek Market in March and of course the big Comic Con in May. Um, I'm going to see if I can complete uh, the whole Web of Spider-Man uh, run. Uh, I think that's something I'd really like to do because um, they're all really cheap. None of them are really worth anything. Um, not money-wise, they're worth something to me personally. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to try and get the whole run because I don't think uh, I don't think it even made it to a hundred issues. I don't think I'd have to look into that. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Definitely something I want to work on uh, over the next couple of conventions that I go to. And another thing I tried completing but was almost successful. Um, I started, I collected uh, Superman Unchained when it started up to issue 5. And then it just kind of dropped off, right? Like, you, like I think that was, I think that's when uh, it took forever for the next issue to come out. And I just decided, okay, I'm just going to drop it then. I'll get it when it comes out in trade, whatever. And then it's like, well, well, back issue sale. I'll see what they've got. Uh, they had everything but six. <laughs> they had seven, eight, and nine. Uh, this cover actually, it's not just white. It actually has the regular cover uh, underneath it. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I still need issue six, uh, and Silver Snail does not have that either, so I'll come across it eventually, whether it's at the next convention or I go somewhere else. Um, I'm not in a rush. And lastly, I got, uh, because I really like um, Infinity Man and the Forever People, I'm one of the very few people who reads that, um, which will be ending, unfortunately, in April at issue nine. Uh, I they they actually had a few issues of the old Forever People from the 70s and like 71 or something like that I don't remember uh, but this is issue three of the Forever People this was after the discount I think it was 12 bucks um, which is not bad at all if you look it up um, <clears throat> that's a pretty good price for this so yeah this one was about 12 um, so I haven't read this yet but it's in pretty good shape um, Spine is not uh, bad at all, really. Um, there's a little bit of uh, wear here where the staple is, um, but like the spine itself is actually really good. It's pretty nice. Uh, corners are this corner is a little rounded. Um, up here is pretty sharp. I mean, overall, it's in pretty good shape. So I was pretty happy to get that. And I also got issue eleven. This one was. A little bit less I don't remember what it I think I paid eight bucks was it eight I think I paid about eight dollars for this one so again not too bad and uh, also in pretty good shape this corner is mostly sharp uh, the top here also not bad at all um, this this corner is a little bit a little bit of a wear on it um, but the spine spine is perfect actually spine is awesome so good shape and that is it uh, I am still going to try to enter Tim Morantz and Clouded Journeys contest before we move um, I might have time on Saturday to do that I hope I do I do want to enter but uh, still got a lot of work to do for uh, packing and cleaning um, yeah I guess that's it um, your likes your comments your subscriptions. I want them. I'm Jesse from darkstormreviews.com. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.